In this episode, I would like to share a mindset that you want to have when you want to create your online courses. Hey guys, it's Aiko with Shua Girl. I'm an American English pronunciation coach based in Hawaii, and I am also teaching business and marketing for English coaches who want to make $5,000 to $10,000 a month from their online coaching business. So, in this episode, I'd like to answer a question that I received. So the question is that、uh, this person wants to create some online courses, but she hasn't started creating yet because she has some question. So here's the question My whole purpose is to create. Online courses is to create a passive income and to touch more people's l i f e and make a difference. When you decided to create an online course, were you worried that you cannot touch each student? In this,、uh, is this my limiting mindset? How can I create a course knowing that students will get the same results? As if I'm coaching them? Yeah, that is a good question. Thank you very much for your question. So, to answer your question, no, I was not worried.、Um, so, right now, I have five courses released on Udemy and Teachable. And actually, I just、um, created another one. It's already on Teachable, and I'm just waiting for Udemy to approve my course. So, you know, I've created six, and I'm planning to make another one soon. Yeah, so when I started doing this, I wasn't worried that I cannot touch each student. So that means, like, they're not gonna have my support, right? So it's gonna be like self study. But I wasn't worried because creating online courses this way without any of my support, that means I'm not using my time, right? Therefore, So many people can take my courses, like unlimited numbers of people can take my courses, right? So that way, people who are not able to take my private coaching or group courses at high prices are able to. Take online courses at cheaper price. So, more people will see what I teach and how I teach, what I know, you know, stuff like that, right? So, there is going to be more opportunity for people to just, you know, check out my courses at cheaper prices. So, I wasn't worried that you know, I cannot connect with each student. And also, people who paid and took my online courses and got to know how I teach and they got to. 
um, you know, they they started wanting to take lessons directly from me. They contacted me directly. So I have clients. Um, you know, like clients who are taking or who have taken my group courses or private coaching directly from me. Some of them came from Udemy or Teachable. So I know that if they really want to have my support they will contact me so i wasn't really worried that uh, about it and so your next question is this my limiting mindset mm. you know like your intention is really good right you are trying to support every single client of yours so that's a really good mindset. Um, maybe you can think this way too. I always think what I can pass on to the next generation be after I leave this life, right? It's so it's kind of funny to say because, like, yeah, I think it. I think in that way all the time, but. Um, you don't want to be in it forever. Um, you know, like when you coach your clients, you're using your time. Therefore, if you are, when you are no longer able to work, I mean, you know, this is a really harsh thinking, but just think about like when you are no longer able to work or able to coach people if you already have your products then people can continue taking your courses you know what I'm saying uh, I hope that makes sense so what I'm trying to do is I am um, like writing down all my knowledge and skills so that I can leave this to many people so this is what I'm trying to do so if you start thinking that way then maybe you can start creating online courses where you can help so many people without using your time and the next question so how can I create a course knowing that students will get the same results as if I am coaching them this is really hard because um, it's very hard because I'm coaching my clients, right? But at the same time, I know I cannot change people or I cannot teach people. So even though I am coaching clients directly, some people improve a lot and some people don't. You know, I'm teaching the same stuff, right? But the results are always different depending on the person. And so it's same thing for online courses. Some people actually get good results from just, you know, working on, you know, studying with an online course at their own pace. They still get good results, right? And some of them don't even start your course. I'm telling you, because I have Udemy and Teachable, and I have five courses released on Udemy and Teachable, right? So I can see, you know, where my students at. And a lot of people haven't started my course at all. I can see like, oh, this person finished 100%. Oh, this person even um, hasn't started yet because it says 0%. So you can actually see students' progress in online 
courses when you release them. Um, but it's the same thing for my clients who have been taking my courses directly. And some people will drop out. They are you know, learning from me directly. Some people drop out. Some people finish and get good results. And they ask me for more. Like, hey, create this, create that. I created two, no, actually three different courses because some of my clients requested, right? So even though you're coaching people directly, you always see some people don't even start or some people may drop. And some of them work hard and get good results. So it's the same thing for online courses. Some people get good results. Some people don't even start watching your videos. So, you know, you cannot control other people, right? So I guess you don't have to worry about it. So I hope that I answered your question. So I hope that you will decide creating creating your online courses soon in the future. And I have a workshop coming up on October 26th in Japan time, Saturday at 9 a.m until 11 30 a.m so it's gonna be for two and a half hours i will share some points for udemy creation so i actually have courses on on udemy and teachable so if you are interested in um, creating courses on teachable you can ask me the difference because i know the difference between teachable and udemy there are so many differences <laughs> udemy is so different from other platforms teachable is like yes um you know there are similar platforms like teachable udemy is just so different from everything else actually so i can show you the differences also and you know you want to know how much actually you make right udemy is totally different from any other platforms so i will share the difference in income and how to um, decide your target and topic and what you should do after you release courses so it's gonna be on october 25th, uh, 26th in japan time saturday at 9 a.m if you are interested in it please check it out the sign up link is in this description box all right so thank you very much for listening and i will see you guys later bye